what is up guys, Ultimate Gaming here, and this is actually the first unboxing video I have ever done, but this is also a birthday review. Now, I know I haven't uploaded another one, I was supposed to be uploading um the Hound and the Kenner Alien Queen Hive last month, but I forgot to, so I might be uploading it this month. Anyways guys, today's figure is something incredible this is a toy my mom got me off of ebay i uh, it was supposed to come on tuesday, uh, tuesday it was supposed to come on saturday but didn't and it came today instead of coming on tuesday everybody we have the NECA dog alien now if you can't see it don't worry i'll turn on the light right now uh, um, once I pause this clip. Okay, guys, I'm back. And keep in mind that this figure is brand new. I just came back from school right now. And it, uh, my grandparents told me it was in the mail since my mom's working. Anyways, mom, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for this. So, it, here we have the beautiful Alien 3 logo. Now, a lot of people didn't like the Alien 3 movie. I actually loved it. It was just Alien 4, Alien Resurrection, which sorta brought the problems in. But, I'm waiting for Alien Xeno coming out, I think it was this year or next year, or 2017, I'm not sure, I forgot. Anyways, this is new in packaging, the packaging is just beautiful. We even have a picture of the baby uh, chestburster queen in the background, I will show you once I unbox it in a little bit. Here we have the Dog Alien logo, ages 17 and up, even though I'm only 11. Warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children. On the side, we have beautiful pose of the Dog Alien. And on the other side, we have another one with this tongue sticking out. On the back, we have Alien 3, another good pose with him over the prisoner. We have also available the, can the cane. Anyways, guys, we have... Also available, Kane with the face hugger and removable helmet. Bishop with the separate hand, knife, and I think it was a type of tube. I forgot what it was. I think it was the power surge. And then, of course, we had the dog alien. Here we have the bio for the dog alien. After narrowly escaping LV-426, Ripley and the remaining crew of the USS Salaka enter hypersleep for the long journey back to Earth. But a crash landing leaves Ripley alone and stranded on the maximum security panel planet Fiorina Fury 161. She's surrounded by inmates whose double Y cro chromosome take them makes them the worst makes them the most violent man in the galaxy, but there's something far more dangerous lurking in the shadows. Something that may something that may have been in her escape pod all along. No, it wasn't. It was actually created by a dog and a face Okay, yeah, it's just one last look at at the front packaging before I open it up. Anyways, here's a look. Here's a look at the whole package once again, and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere yet. Okay, guys, here's the back one I was talking about. The Baby Queen Alien Chestburster. And with this alien came a stand, a little cool stand NECA is adding in with our figures, I guess, now. I'm pretty sure it only came with the, it's only coming with the aliens, because it came with the NECA queen and the dog alien, so I can't wait till next series to see what aliens we get. Who knows, probably we'll get a renewable version of the, um... Uh, maybe the big chap. I would like that, like, really. Or they can at least do an alien isolation figure. Anyways, to go with the stand, everybody, is the dog alien. The tail is just so cute. And I'm going to show you guys how to open the mouth. It's It pretty much scares me. What you want to do is basically when it's closed, and the packaging comes like a little bit crack open like that, like that. But to open it, you have to grab it with all your force and pull it down. Don't worry, it's not broken. That's how you pull it down. The mouth does stand all the way down. God damn. It makes this one more scary than the Predator now. 
Anyways, then you just there. Just pull out the little mouth. There you go. It's not that long. It extends up to there. And you close the mouth back and have them in that biting pose. Anyways, let's unwrap the alien from his sort of snarled up mode, I guess you can say. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I'm losing my voice. So anyways. anyways, here he is in his crawling hands pose. Too bad he doesn't come with dip. With like open type hands like the big chap when he grabs Dallas. Spoiler alert, sorry. <laughs> And let's open up his leg. Well, his legs are supposed to be like this, but if you extend them, he is about the size of the queen alien. And I, I'm, I just might use my new al alien. Um, I mean, I think I might just play with this for something. Yes, me guess what I was about to say. Here's a guess. Start with one of the Ripley's. Anyways. I guess you can just pose him like this, make him look like the big chap. Oh, I think that looks pretty neat right here, guys. That looks pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I'm going to put him in his sort of crawling type pose. If I'm correct, his head was able to move back all the way in like a type of looking up. Oh, he sort of snap. Okay, so here we have him in the best pose I can get him. Now, um... I actually like the dog alien more better than the than the warrior alien. Yeah, the warrior alien from I think it was the first or second series. I'm not sure how many series there are. I'm keeping trap, but to show you guys which one I'm talking about. Um, I'm about to put it up on the screen right now. Here it is. Um, I hate how you couldn't put that neck. Or the head back and like crawling pose because of this. But with the dog alien, it's no problem. Anyways, here's a here's the best pose I can get him into. And for a cool little comparison, we're gonna put him next to the a alien isolation Ripley figure. Amanda Ripley. Yeah, you might be thinking, wait, you never made one. I know, it's my custom. Here it is, guys. This is a uh, sneak peek, and I'm also going to let you guys know that I've been waiting for this figure also to make the alien isolation stop motion, guys. Anyway, I'll be right back, guys, after, I don't know, this pause. Okay, guys, here we have him in another pose about to headbite Amanda Ripley with a pretty big figure. <laughs> The tail is really long, guys. I would say probably the size of his whole body in comparison when you take off the tail. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for the Alien Isolation Stop Motion. If you guys enjoyed this video, well, actually, before I end it, I just want to say, I just want to show you guys around the figure. Especially the red cage. Look at that thing. his head oh my goodness anyways here's his head clear dome similar to the uh, neck of big chap for some reason something's wrong with my dome I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that if it's not let me get let me know you guys but for some reason the ends are also black oh, pretty sure it's supposed to be like that but the back no the bony bony back this is some skinny bone jones things right here these shoulders, they're just amazing, too. Uh, they're sort of ra more, like, rounded and fatter than the, um, uh, the warrior aliens, as you can see. And more, um, more, more, more shorter as well. But the spine, guys, the spine compared to the, um, this guy's right here is way different right here, guys. We're, we're talking, like, futuristic alien right here. Or hopefully, guys, in the next series, we can get maybe the newborn alien. Probably not, because I don't think NECA liked that movie either. Uh, I just thought the movie was sort of weird, but besides that, I don't like the alien scenes. Besides, um, well, my favorite scene in that movie, guys, was actually when the newborn, spoiler alert, the newborn 
is actually hatched and literally murders the queen. I, I, I was like, holy, you know, I'm not going to say that anymore. But, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> like, why would he do that? But, yeah, he's this cold little tongue. Tongue thingy, but of course his hands, his palms are great detailed. Uh, the warrior aliens, as you can see here, compared both of their hands compare. The warriors, like palms, weren't that detailed. Neither was his other, his open like grabbing hand. <laughs> but these two are the same. There's just one difference. One of the thumbs is actually more outer right here. And this one is uh, less outer, like less popping out. And these fingers are two together, so it's pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool figure. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe for more birthday reviews.